get ready to see some crazy shit. This is SEMA, baby. Crazy ass cars, crazy ass trucks, crazy ass everything here. But I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know which vehicle from this video you think is the most expensive one. We've managed to find the first truck that's definitely got some height on the Golden Cummins. These are 59 inch tires. And it's actually ridiculous how much bigger a 59 is than a 44. It's really not even a comparison at all. But yeah, this thing's fucking huge. We got a truck over here for all my lady subscribers out there. Got some pink going on. Obviously too cool to uh, run with the tow mirrors out though. That's unfortunate. Where even are we right now? <laughs> this looks fucked up. They got the new 2026 Honda Civic right here. This wrap though. That shit is fucking sick. Even got that seats going off. This has definitely got to be a 30 inch lift, man. Like, these are 44s and they're getting skated with ease. Just pushing this shit to the limits, man. Just gonna fucking send it. They really just cut that out for the train horns? That is, that's insane. Bro, this angle is incredible. You guys think my fucking drive shaft angle is bad? There's no way. Today, swear to God, I need it now. I can't afford to wait. I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait. Told him this would happen, and we not a minute late. Probably the fattest truck at the show right here. What do you got going on here, bro? Four twenty-six by sixteens on the rear. Four twenty-six by sixteens. We haven't pulled the tape on it yet, but we I'm, have to though. We have to. Yes. Uh, oh, they're going down a final one thousand. Try to one thirty-six, bro. <laughs> Dude, that is so fucked up. Just to give you guys perspective, the Golden Cummins is one hundred and two from side to side. All right, we just found another Cummins that's a little taller than the Golden Cummins. The forty-fours on my truck are pretty much like even with the body line so i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is probably like 25 inch lift i'll show you guys an example of exactly what i have to do to my truck in order to run a front drive shaft this is what it looks like when you clock the transfer case and you redo and customize your cross member underneath so that's exactly what i would need to do on mine to uh leave the bluetooth life behind you guys gotta see what this motherfucker did underneath this truck so obviously it's bolted up here right all uh, right but then look at the back of this part <laughs> this guy <laughs> Yo, dude, I'm not one to talk because I literally have Bluetooth front drive shaft. Oh shit, this one's crazy. And of course, running that draw box, which is just not an option for the Golden Cummins, but gets the job done for these big show trucks. Real talk though, if I actually drive my truck across the country to these shows, does that mean that it's not a show truck? Like a real show truck, you know? Cause if it was, then I would just buy a drop box and be done with my four wheel drive problem. But I literally can't do that because it would get absolutely fucked. Look at these freaking wheels, you guys. That is nutty. Not only the wheels, but like every little component of the suspension. This truck is ridiculously clean. Holy f the exhaust. I love the detail in this truck. This is absolutely ridiculous. This has got to at least be a 30 inch lift. This truck is fucking huge, for real. Oh shit, you see this shit, bro? You come and swap this bitch, bro. What is that? Is that a zip tie? <laughs> this is a sick dually right here. And these wheels though that is clean baby okay let's see what kind of configuration these two trucks are running for the front drive shaft we're starting to compare this on all these trucks so this guy's obviously got massive drop box and then this guy yeah, yeah over here he's got the custom cross member yeah this is definitely the more functional way and this is the way that i'm going to be doing it on the golden cummins ford ford another ford so far at the show gabe's truck this has been the tallest thing i've seen so we're gonna go check out this other truck over here that i think might just be a little bit taller it's over there just towering over holy shit yeah that's got the rear steer on that bitch j fab inc getting a shout out boy look at this shit this uh this is crazy man Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. What are you what are you ever gonna tell with that, eh? I love that. That's hilarious. 
So I would say this truck is probably at least the same height as the other one over there. Cause tires are up to the shoulders. Huge, huge drop box on this bitch. Yeah, it's a big bitch. I don't know what the hell is going on with this wheel lights, but you guys got to see this shit. The biggest set of wheel lights ever. This is 12 rows of wheel lights. I keep seeing people running the 10 row white wheel lights. 10 row white wheel lights. There's more 10 row white wheel lights here. Man, I'm telling you guys, I keep seeing these wheel lights everywhere. Once again, he's got that same model that everyone's selling. And I hate to break it to you guys, but y'all are living in the past. You wanna know what's better than 10 row white? That right there. You gotta see him on. Fine. You need to get with the 12 row from Adrenaline Off-Road that has 10 rows of white and two rows of amber all in the same damn thing. It gets better though, all right? Switchbacks, bro. Yeah, man. That's what the orange is for. Yeah. 10 white and two orange. Pretty sick. And the cool thing about ours, you won't find other brands selling it because we make our shit from scratch. You guys gotta go check it out right now with the link in the bio. We got my boy Brett's truck at NSK Customs. This truck looks so tiny after looking at that Ford over there, even though this is like a 20 inch lift. What the hell? Look at these American force wheels. I bet you guys ain't never seen a Lambo set up like this though. Oh, you know, just going out camping for the weekend in my fucking Lambo with my, uh, <laughs> whatever those are. You know, I don't know what it is about this Porsche, but there's just something a little bit different. It must be this. I don't think they come with that usually. This thing is fucking sick, you guys. Look at these mirrors. He's got P90 mirrors going on right now definitely super cool and very unique though okay we got a few more crazy trucks ahead of us right here so we're gonna check these out this thing is huge and over here we got this pretty beautiful OBS Chevy this is my boy Austin's truck give him some love speak of the man he just showed up what's up bro yeah, Canada, eh? what the fuck is, what do you mean bro you said it improperly man you gotta be like hot weather out here today, eh? It's official. Driveway uh, built. One of the few out here. So you actually did this all in your driveway, all, bro? All myself. Boys from Canada, what's up, man? <laughs> the moment when you put truck wheels and tires on your side by side just because you're bowling like that bro look at this horn though yeah he's winning that he's winning the horn contest bro it's the ford that's version like, of your truck like no way dude those have got to be 40s 40s 40. this guy knows what's up dude that is a badass side by side bro you know it's a company uh set up when they got tits on literally everything i love that goal man that's clean i've literally never seen a tailgate have so much detail before they bang this truck out so fast too. Hey, you want to tell me what kind of wheel lights that truck has? One, two, three. And we got this buggy on the 59 inch Baja Pros. It's actually ridiculous how big these 59s are like. Straight up, never seen a Tesla done up like this. That's for damn sure. What would you say about chrome wraps and practicality of wrapping your vehicle in a chrome material? It's totally not worth it. Car show, a special event, then that's a completely another thing. But like a daily driving car, having a chrome is not a smart choice. Kind of like a waste of money? Yes, sir. Got you. Somebody deleted the suspension completely, bro. What is it about? truck owners that makes us want to either go up or down all the way but just not stay at the same level. Dude, is that PJ? Right in the middle of the vlog, bro. Up, man. Literally bro, vlog bro, right man. We got Mitch here. Bro, basically, this guy sunk the gold truck in the water. That was my favorite content. <laughs> I love that you actually saw that shit, bro. I can't believe they made a V10 Civic, bro. That's crazy. I don't know how much McLarens are worth, but I know they're worth a pretty penny. Where even is the door handle on this thing? What is that? I walk over and I see this shit. I'm like, bro, it's chrome. It looks chrome anyways. But it's not. It's actually polished aluminium. Polished what? Aluminium. So you're telling me this entire vehicle is aluminium? Aluminium. <laughs> it's a new compound that came out two times more expensive than aluminum. 
I wonder what it looks like through that lens right now. Bro, that clip is crazy though. Full layer full of rubber. Cause the burnout track right here, holy shit bro.